Hello guys, welcome back. So we'll see another error in this session. So again, uh, I'm having already this. One of my student has sent this. Yeah. So this is what the error is that is related to automatic payment program. Okay. So here proposal is already run, uh, but payment is not possible because of reported error, right? So which error? That is like it's it's like if you see this proposal log and all it's uh you know a bit difficult to find out however the you know it's it's already here the solution is already there right but maybe for you people because it's saying here right if you have a look here look at here 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 right but for beginners or faces bit difficult to identify this error right what is the meaning of this error i'll let you know but once again first of all like let's suppose even if you don't if you're not able to understand this error and all still you can do one thing so first of all how you are going to find out so this is the proposal right i think i'll have to log in once again So generally what happens sometime I go to appf 410 so sometime what happened like even that is also not there sometime let's suppose even this one also will not be there right this is also not there so in that case now it is going to be very difficult to identify so how to start like if you have to find out that which error has taken place multiple you know uh, errors are uh, you know that could be like multiple region will be there of this uh, uh, error in an automatic payment program so every time what is happening most likely you are going to get the clue from the proposal only right we all know very well and that two multiple things i have explained during the live classes right so it's okay now so this is what the reason but still when you are going to start when you are going to start this like uh, to find out the root cause of this error and all and here if you couldn't find anything so first of all what you have to do so now look at here the company code so this is the vendor and this is the company code hp3 so first of all what you have to see first of all you check the open items fbl1 and, and here hp something hp3 right so here you check the open item now here what is happening so look at here these are not due item right not due items not due means it is not going to be selected this is also going to be selected guys but what you have to do that uh, next run date next payment date that field is there right in that you have to select the date now let me check here first of all so what is the due date let me find out due date okay you just bring here so so due date 508 right in august august 5th it is going to be due now so here what is happening guys august 5th it is going to be due so if you have a look here then what is happening the next payment date is 608 it means now everything is fine this is must be that is like it must be selected by system isn't it but again why it is not selected by system so here if you have a look right so here if you double click on the line item it is showing like if the payment is if you are going to make the early payment right early payment means there will be a discount some discount percentage is there right what is the terms of payment hp 10 you just do one thing go to ob ba transaction code it's pretty simple to check each and everything so hp 10 right this is what the payment terms so look at here now in 10 days 10 percent discount right and there will be another things also like in 20 days no discount like that it should be there right uh, i think generally this is we can say incomplete payment terms only at least 
then give like 20 days no discount like that you can give right so here what is happening the payments are going to be now what is happening so payments are going to be made within 10 days right so if i have given 20 days then what is happening guys i think uh so now the due dates are going to be changed right let me check it refresh so here you did and bring here okay you can change this uh, what do you say whatever the layout is there it's okay now so 508 is the net due date so why 508 we have changed now it's p10 right so from here i think i just do one thing triple zero one okay and then once again hp 10 let's enter okay <clears throat> so now if you save it then First of all, you save this, not on one SAP, save on a different. Okay, let's suppose RPK. This is the customized layout created by someone. And then you just do one thing, layout here, administrations. And here, just select this one and save it okay so now here we just refresh everything is fine so now look at here now this due date become changed and here also i think this is uh, different or what here also you have to do one thing so you have to change it that is going to be and then one second that should be done so okay now so here if you uh, just refresh now everything is fine so now here what is happening it is going to be due on 15th of 08 right it's okay there is that there is no problem but still this this line item was supposed to be selected by system you just do one thing so what is happening the problem is the biggest problem is like here the proposal is already run proposal is incomplete right proposal is incomplete clearly here error is visible this is related to what guys this is related to i think discount sk is means this is related to discount discount gl right but i think discount gl is not assigned it's supposed to be assigned somewhere that already i have explained in the live classes also right when you are when the vendor is eligible for discount you must have to assign the discount gl right and even like proposal is like proposal itself is faulty still here what is happening the payment is run so what do you have to do first of all you just do one thing first of all delete this payment output okay delete this and then delete the proposal right delete the proposal and then once again so let me check before that is everything is fine here everything is fine pre-selections no need to do anything here okay you have to like you can apply this check marks give your vendor and then save it okay and then run the proposal so if you run again i think the same error will be there guys here not here go for log so come down here okay so now again the same table t030r right for entry sp03 that is the company code sk is missing right this is what the error is okay so either okay now what you have to do we'll do one thing we'll do one thing guys just do one thing now here these are the two line item which is supposed to be selected by system for 20,000 right in 20,000 again since we are making payment because this was posted on 26th and now it is uh, the payment is going to be run on 26 itself it means within 10 days within 10 days means 10% discount right 
so whatever this cash discount is there that amount is supposed to be deducted right and when it is going to be deducted what is happening guys you must have to so you must have to this is going to be what to say posted here okay just do one thing just this one or is create one more screen so it is going to be posted to the discount account right discount account so discount account is system is unable to find out this discount account that is the problem now just to go to fs level zero let me check the zl this for hp right okay create one gl account here just copy this one itself and make it to make it like here discount receipt okay just save it discount received everything is fine here let me check okay just save it and assign this gl account b x u i think here we are going to assign let me take it give your chart of account just control s and sk look at here this can have discount received so when you are going to post like when the app is going to run since this line item is eligible for discount right so what do you have to do either so system is going to identify that okay 10 percent discount must be deducted so when the 10 percent discount is going to be deducted right so somewhere it is supposed to be it is going to hit a particular gl so where it is going to be posted guys here automatic determination of gl account is happening right and we uh, automatic determination means from where system is going to find this gl account so whenever the discount is there right so discount means system is going to trigger this sk transaction key and against this one whatever gl account is assigned in that gl account transaction is going to be posted but here what is happening guys system is unable to find out this gl account because there is no gl account assigned that is why if you have a look here system is saying that entry sk is missing right it means this gl account itself is missing isn't it so now you save it you save it and then you come back here and once again we have to run this app first of all delete this so if all that everything is fine then system is going to show this accounting entry first of all will be visible and then you can run the payment and still if any fault is there the next fault is also next problem also you can see here run the proposal press enter so see the proposal log here come down come down here okay now it is fine look at here this is what the accounting entry right okay so we have the gl account case so entry is pretty simple hope you guys are able to understand here this is the vendor number right this is the vendor code so this vendor is going to be debited with twenty thousand because what is what about this open item guys open item ten thousand plus ten thousand two open items are there so that is credit amount and this twenty thousand debit amount so credit and debit twenty thousand plus twenty thousand that is going to nullify apart from this apart from this twenty thousand what is the actual payment we have, we have made right so from bank account the actual payment you have made eighteen thousand so that is look at here so your bank account is going to be credited with eighteen thousand and what about remaining two thousand so look at here this two thousand is the discount which we have created right discount received that we have created and that we have assigned so now it is fine and if you run this payment here press enter payment has been cancelled so what we have to do guys now you check your payment proposal mostly number range related issues takes place here look at here number range 15 is missing so that's pretty simple so number range means again what is the logic hope you all are knowing right number range means system is going to trigger the document type right and from document type system is going to trigger this number 
range code against that code whatever range we have given so if you talk about the document type right which document type is going to be triggered go to oba7 okay and that is the logic is there you know like payment method is there against that we are going to assign the document type and all so let me check now we will not go into those details because that is already explained right so now here 19 it means not kr document type maybe zp go for zp whichever document type you have assigned against your zp or zv here zp right zp is also fine which document type sorry i have given kr document type it, it's supposed to be kz document type maybe zp is not there kz is there okay so that you can check against payment method see which which document type is assigned right so KJ document type is there, just change the number in because I hope the zero one is already created. Here you can change the number in HP03. Let me check the interval. Zero one is already there, it's okay. So assign this one. In this like 15 is not there, right? 15 is not there, that is why the error was there. It's okay, so we have assigned zero one. Now what is happening guys? Now this error will not take this okay so here almost what is happening guys if you check this uh, what is a proposal proposal you'll be having the solutions here itself right but logically like if you guys are having a perfect knowledge and idea about this app and all easily you guys are going to find out the root cause easily or is doing all the configurations and all you don't know the logic behind those things then it's useless to do all these configurations nothing will happen right that is going to be wastage of time. So now here delete output, delete the payment and once again we are going to run this payment. Okay, now it's done, you can check the payment. Okay, so it's posted, isn't it? So even though this is undue item in the sense this is not due item but still it got posted. Now it's gone, you get here no open items are there okay so this is how you have to check check the proposal log and all and there you will be having root cause of the error which is taking place in the sense if you are running this app and system is unable to select the line item right so somewhere certain fault is there and where is the fault that you can get in the proposal so what do you have to do if you are going to see the proposal closely the root cause is there only right so this is what the root cause here system was unable to find out the discount yield because in payment terms already discount percentage was specified that was the root cause of this error